Hey there everyone, this is Jiggy. As February comes to a close, I wanted to give you an update on our progress since our last dev blog earlier this month, uh, including a lot of new and old content getting some love. The first thing I wanted to talk about that's the most exciting for me personally is the Lambiosaurus TLC update. We've been working really hard to try and improve the way some of our older dinosaurs look and the first dino on the list is the Lambiosaurus. The TLC isn't completed quite yet, but I'll definitely be sure to let you know as soon as it's added to the game. So we've got the model updated already with improvements to the textures and the proportions and really tried to get it to have a more paleo accurate makeover. The updates include a longer neck and a reshaped head allowing for a more accurate crest and more long, kind of slender beak. Uh, I've also improved the Lambiosaurus's body proportions to better fit with what we know about it today. And I also was sure to add that uh, front hoof that's now known to feature on pretty much all hadrosaurs that was discovered a few years after our original model was created. We also took special care on improving the textures, kind of bringing the quality up to the same standards as our newer dinosaurs with the larger feature scales and more definition. Alongside the changes to the Lambiosaurus's model and textures, we're also working on updating its abilities and revisiting a handful of its skins to just improve the Christmas and detail of their patterns, including the default skin and the swamp skin uh, you can see here. For the default skin, you know, we really wanted to add an extra pop of color to the crest that Lambiosaurus is well known for. Um, and kind of give some variety of vivid colors that players can choose from. Even though it's the most sort of standard Lambiosaurus skin in the game, we did want to be able to have a bit of extra personalization to it. We'll definitely be sure to provide updates and progress as uh, we continue to finish work on the Lambiosaurus TLC, so definitely keep an eye out. In preparation for our upcoming quests and achievement updates, we've also been working on new and improved emo wheel. The new emote wheel is planned to have customization to allow for more than 8 emotes and kind of let players organize and change out which emotes they'd like to use in game. There'll be at least 3 wheels, uh, each containing 8 slots, and they can be filled up with animations, calls, you know, displays, taunts, stuff like that. Um, it also allows us to add more emotes over time, including emotes that can be unlocked through quests and achievements in the future. Alongside those system updates, the vocal wheels will also be getting a visual update as well. Um, the little icons that you can see on the wheel will be updated with kind of these, these cute uh, dino icons that show uh, visually what the emote's actually going to be doing. Another thing that we're updating as well is some of the foliage in the game. We really wanted players to feel more immersed and at home in a prehistoric world, and we've been working on creating some ancient flora to help with this. Um, this ends up being a lot of cycads, ferns, conifer trees, some of the things that were around during the prehistoric times. Here's a few pictures of some of the work in progress uh, foliage that we've got going right now, and also some kind of mock-ups of some scenes where this foliage may be seen. We'll be adding these to the map uh, over time as we go to both uh, Pandora and Gondwa, so definitely uh, keep an eye out for future updates. Another thing we've been working on in the background is the Content Manager. The Content Manager is a UI interface that will let you view and select both replays and mods and quickly uninstall them if you'd like. Um, it'll be found in the mods panel in-game. Sometimes joining a community server can be difficult if the server is hosting a lot of mods. That means that players with less storage can often run out of space if too many mods are downloaded. With the content manager, you'll be able to quickly uninstall mods or delete old replays to free up space. When joining a server, if the game detects that you're going to run out of space in order to join the server, it'll offer to delete old mods that you haven't really been using or haven't played in a while in order to try and make some space for the rest of the new required server content. It'll definitely make it a bit more reliable for console and mobile players to connect to community servers that are hosting a lot of mods. We're still working on this tool, but progress is being made pretty quickly and it should be available soon. We definitely hope it helps players who are running on more limited space.
As always, we're always incredibly grateful for your support as we continue to work on Path of Titans, and we're excited to show you what we've been up to in the next step vlog, so keep an eye out for that.